We've got about five generations of timber business in our veins from early settlement of Australia. My parents settled in northern New South Wales. Luckily I was fortunate to grow up with the people around the Kendall region and keep on to sawmilling. We end up going to different places and Walker and, and then on to uh, Bensdale here which we've been for 25 years. Fortunate that I have good employees here and the Gibson family are synonymous to our operations going back to the early 50s when firstly I remember Pop Gibson who was great grandfather to the boys there now and that goes back 50 or 60 years now shouldn't be that old but I am. In the lower part in the dry mill we have conveyor systems and the automatic robotics to load our planing machine up quite a bit of gear in there. One of the key things that Fenians was talking about was how do we actually look at new technology. They've had a taste of robotics in the past and part of that process was we identified some existing robots that were stored in storage for the last five years and we spent a lot of time of saying how could we make that fit within the current production process. Part of that investigating and we decided that we could reutilise or redeploy the equipment uh, in a de-stacking application on one of their manual processes at the moment. So as you're seeing here today, you can see the two robots depalletizing, if you like, across the, the timber as they're coming in and then putting them as a single layer. We spent a lot of time on site working with the team of how it was going to be installed, what types of applications would best suited to it, looked at the vacuum equipment and really worked closely with the customer on developing that overall solution. The innovation that they're embarking on now, particularly in the robotic field, where we see a problem with uh, mundane work, I guess you'd say, and the robots don't care about that. I think when I came into the industry, heavy work was there and people talked about how hard the work was. I, I thought when you couldn't get a job somewhere, you get the sawmill and got a job. And I wanted to make it a place where we wanted to work at the sawmill. And the way, best way is to have it automated and good equipment. The, the people are here and they enjoy that technology.